What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Chase Corrington here. Why am I frustrated? Secret of the universe. When we get frustrated, we have the power to control our mind. So I don't have to think frustrated thoughts, but I still want to ask the question, why am I frustrated? I want to make a difference. I want to have purpose. I want the things that I do to be the things that I want to do. You know, I know I can't just sit on my ass and watch TV, but that aren't that's not the things that I want to do. The things that I want to do do provide some kind of service for people. It's, it's trying to match your passion with the world's hunger, what the world needs. Trying to match your passion with what the world needs. I'm like, the world definitely needs some more happiness. That's for sure. Does the world need more landscape oil paintings? Maybe? Do, do landscape paintings make people happier? Because I love and enjoy, I'm passionate about painting landscape paintings. But man, it's hard to freaking sell them. <laughs> and the, what you think about expands, so I'm going to think about how I will sell them. And that's hard, convincing yourself getting your mind off of what's not happening and what you think won't happen and getting your mind onto what you want to happen and how you will feel when that happens. Why am I frustrated? Because I go to work 40 hours a week, sometimes 37, sometimes 41, probably 38 <laughs> more often than... But, I mean, like... The eight hours I spend working, it's, it, it hurts me. It's like, man, I keep telling myself I'm making a difference, you know. I'm stocking the shelves. I'm, you know, fulfilling people's online orders. Not for my business, for somebody else's business. Not for my dream, for somebody else's dream. I'm building somebody else's dream. Eight hours a day, five days, you know, 40 hours a week, I'm building somebody else's dream. And then I get off work, check before you get over. <laughs> then I get off work, and I'm, I mean, I guess I'm getting paid during those eight hours to think about what I need to do to build my dream and to listen to podcasts that'll help me develop myself and my, you know, entrepreneurial pursuits and my everything I want to do. But God, it's so hard, man, in this world to <sighs> see. I got so entranced about what I'm saying here. I forgot to wear a seatbelt. If you're driving on the road, ladies and gentlemen, don't make videos <laughs> and wear a seatbelt. <laughs> but if you'll watch this video, you'll notice that I'm staring at the road most of the time. And that's not the point. God. See, those are me having thoughts, oh, people are going to be judging you. I don't give a fuck if people are going to be judging me. <laughs> This is what I'm getting at. I'm like, dude, we go through our entire lives worrying about who's going to judge us and what they're going to think. And, and then we try to figure out what our purpose is and our passion and do the things we love. And then the people around us tell, that's, tell us that's stupid and that's a bad idea. I'm like, so how do we overcome this fear 
of not having security, not being able to make enough money. I'm like, literally all I have to do is make $53 a day selling paintings, um, you know, doing affiliate marketing, anything I can do that goes along with sharing content to people to help people find happiness through spirituality, through deeper thought, through enlightenment, through positive psychology, is there a way that I can make $53 a day, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> maybe I should start a Patreon. And maybe somebody out there, one of, one of you guys. <laughs> See, but then I feel like I'm asking people for money, and that's... I'm like, I need... I feel like I need to give people massive value. I need to offer something. If you're out there trying to run a business, trying to start a business, trying to make money, remember that value comes first. When you're going to sell something, when you're going to advertise something, what kind of value are you offering the people? And are you doing it with love? Is it something you really enjoy? These are the things that I'm trying to do. I mean, seriously, I don't make a lot of money right now working 40 hours a week at some, you know, somebody else's dream. And that person's dead now. They built their dream, sold it off for a fortune, and now I'm working for... You see what I'm getting at, ladies and gentlemen? I'm like... There has got to be a way that we can follow our passion. If we advance, Henry David Thoreau, my favorite quote, if we advance confidently in the direction of our dreams and our desires and endeavor to live a life which we have imagined, we will be met with a success unexpected in common hours. And to me, that means if I follow my passion and start living a life of purpose and endeavor to make a living this way, that I will definitely be able to make more than $53 a day. <laughs> And I'll be met with a success that will go beyond what I would make in common wage per hour pay, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry for the lighting in this video. But you know about lighting and becoming enlightened, ladies and gentlemen. That's hard work. And one day we will have high quality lighting. We will have high quality microphones and we will be enlightened. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, seek to achieve and maintain happiness through enlightenment and seek to discover the hidden mysteries of our reality and the hidden wisdom of the ages. I am Chase Corrington. This is the Chase Corrington YouTube channel. If you get value from this content, consider subscribing. Keep practicing talking fast, ladies and gentlemen, because it takes practice. <laughs> and we will be back tomorrow with a motivational Monday morning to bring your way. Consider subscribing. Thank you.